Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking every single Drake album. Um, so we've got 15 albums here from Drake, and um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've done this with uh, artists like Kanye West and Mac Miller. And before we start, I just want to say, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 300 by the end of April. And uh, yeah, we'll get right into it. So at number 15, I have Dark Lane Demo Tapes. There's just a lot of mediocre songs. There's a couple good ones like Chicago Freestyle and D4L. But like Tusi Slide, which is the most streamed song, is just pretty bad. It's clearly just meant to trend on TikTok. And it wasn't really, that fact wasn't really hidden. Um, but yeah, overall, just kind of a mid mixtape from uh, Drake. But at number 14, I have honestly never mind. And while I think this album is overhated, it still isn't great. Um, there's definitely a few solid songs on here, like, um, but there's also just some songs that are kind of a snooze fest. Like, they're not necessarily bad. It just there's nothing that really makes me want to come back and listen to them again. And at number thirteen, I have "For All the Dogs." So this is Drake's newest album, and uh, I think. It is a significant step up step up from honestly never mind. It's still not great. It's at a 23 song album and they're just way too much filler in my opinion. Um like but when you put out a 23 song album while you're on tour and while you drop two albums the year prior, there's probably going to be filler. So this is clearly just a thing where you know artists will drop albums with a ton of songs to try and get as many streams as possible, but I think if you really cut it down um, like it could be such uh, such a good album because there is many bangers on this it just there's also so many songs that are also like honestly never mind just a snooze fest and at number 12 I've so far gone this is his first project that's on streaming and there's some classics on here and that have been in my rotation for a while but again there's also just some songs that aren't very great um, but this is obviously Drake early in his career so can't expect it to be perfect at number 11, I have Certified Lover Boy. Um, recently, this album's kind of been like getting praised, but I think it's not as bad as it was um, perceived to be when it first dropped, and it's also not as good as it's perceived now. Um, like a bunch of Drake's newest albums, it's just bloated. There's many good songs on here, but there's also many songs that I'm like, I could live without hearing, right? So I think, again, if he could just chop it down it would be such a good album but because there's that filler it uh, brings it down at number 10 though i have care package um i think this is a big step up in terms of the, like the bop to flop ratio compared to the previous albums um but there's still definitely some misses on here um but yeah like i said definitely not like as many misses on here as uh, the previous albums at number nine though, this album does have a bunch of misses. It's Scorpion, and the only reason I have it above Care Package is because the highs on this album, I believe, are higher than Care Package. But I mean, 25 songs is crazy. Like if you do that, you're obviously gonna have a bunch of misses, and that's kind of what happened. Um, I really wish we could see Drake kind of, you know, chop down his albums. Like it's his biggest critique in my opinion, but. I mean, he's got to get the streams, I guess. But overall, yeah, you're going to get a bunch of bangers on here. Obviously, like, songs like God's Plan are kind of corny. But I mean, hey, it's a classic song for a reason. And at number eight, I have Her Loss. This is uh, his obviously his collab album with Tony and Savage. I think um, it's actually a pretty consistent album. There's not necessarily like a bad song on here. There's some songs I don't go back to as much, but like I wouldn't consider it like bad or anything right and there's a bunch of bangers on this track while rich flex is kind of corny i mean it's still good and that's a big reason of why it went viral um at number seven i have thank me later this is um his second album after um so far gone um and it's just 14 songs so that's something that you don't get in his newer albums you know it's cut down it's a good length. You get features from like Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, and Jay Z, and I think it's like fairly consistent from start to finish. There isn't really a song on here that I would cut off, to be honest. But uh, moving on to number six, we have "What a Time to Be Alive." This is his collab album with Future. There's so many classics on here. You know, you got like Digital Dash, Diamonds Dancing, Jumpman, 
And I'm not the biggest Future fan, but I love this album and it will probably always be in my rotation. At number five, I have More Life. This is a great mixtape, you know, you get 22 songs, so it is long again, but I mean, I guess for a mixtape, being longer is a little bit more acceptable. Um, but on top of the 22 songs, there isn't really any skips, to be honest. And there's like so, so many bangers on this album or mixtape. So yeah, that is why I have it here at number five. And at number four, this is one I think people either say should be number one or should be lower. I see a lot of people really love it or really hate it, but I have views. Um, I think it's an absolute classic album. And it's like one of, if not the most streamed albums of all time, if I'm not, mistake, not mistaken. And it's for good reason. It's such a good album. There's so many good songs on here, so many timeless songs. Um, and like when this thing came out, you could not escape these songs. Like there's so many on here that are just absolute bangers. And starting out the top three here, at number three, I have Nothing Was The Same. It's a 13 track album and it's just top to bottom is just bangers. There's no skips in my opinion, just a great listening experience overall. And number two, I have Take Care. I think this arguably could be number one and it took me a while to kind of decide between number two and number one but ultimately i landed on number two and it's 18 songs not one of them is bad to be honest and so many of them have still been in my rotations like headlines has probably been in my rotation like literally since i first heard it until now and my number one favorite drake album as you probably guessed by now it is if you're reading this it's too late i think this is arguably one of the best mixtapes of all time you know, you get a little bit of Drake in like his rapping bag and a bit of him in like his R&B bag. And it's all done to perfection. Like there is no bad song on this project. And it's crazy to think Drake's 2015 is really crazy. What a time to be alive. And if you're reading this, it's too late. Absolutely insane. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for my Drake ranking. So if you have any other artists uh, you would like me to rank, please leave a comment and uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.